What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Duck Koala coming at you guys with a brand new hooked video and today I'm going to be starting a brand new series. A bunch of you guys have actually been requesting this and uh, I'm actually really really excited for it. So today's story we're actually going to be starting off with the story called Safe Haven. Now it is a seven part story. You guys have been requesting this in the comment section down below so I thought I'd check it out. But if you guys are excited for this new video make sure to leave a like down below. If we can smash two to three hundred likes on this video I'll make sure to get part two out for you guys. And I may even do parts, you know, together because it is seven parts. And, I, and, you know, it's just seven videos on one story. It might be much. So I might, you know, do one, part one and part two together or part three and part four or something. I'm not sure. So, so yeah. And also real quick, guys, I also just want to bring to you guys' attention. You guys have actually been asking me to do like a hooked live stream. And it's something that I've been looking into. If that's something that you guys would want to see or want to be, you know, if you would come watch and you want me to actually do a live stream for hooked, let me know in the comment section down below. It's probably something that I am. I'm going to do if enough of you guys want that so if you want that make sure to let me know in the comment section down below remember to follow me on all my social media the links and everything will be in the description down below but i'll definitely appreciate it you can follow me on twitter snapchat instagram you'll see all the behind the scenes of like me making my videos and all that kind of stuff and like i'll ask questions i'll do giveaways and like all that kind of stuff and i have actually have a planned giveaway coming up soon so make sure you guys go follow me on my twitter so that way you can participate in that but without further ado this is safe haven part one by caroline renee mills I hope you guys enjoy. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, places, events, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. Safe Haven Chat, February 2nd, 2017, 1.13 p.m. Patient Zero is connected. Dr. Took is connected. Hello, and welcome to Safe Haven. I am Dr. Hortense Took, and I will be the licensed therapist working with you online. Before we begin, would you like to tell me your name? The site said I could be anonymous. Absolutely, but it would be very helpful if I had some of your information in case of an emergency. I don't want to give it out. I'm patient zero. Okay, patient zero. We will speak here for about 45 minutes each Thursday at 1.15 p.m. if that suits your schedule. You can leave me messages here between sessions and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Sounds good, I guess. I would like to talk about the confidentiality policy before we move on to a deeper material. Okay, go ahead. Our conversations are confidential, but there are certain circumstances where I will be obligated to share information regarding your therapy. For instance, if you provide details about child or elder abuse or plan to hurt yourself or others, I will be required to take further action. Do you have any questions about confidentiality? Not yet. Soon, I think. If you do have any questions in the future, we can talk about this as much as you'd like. Okay, yeah. Great. To get going, could you tell me the issues you'd like to work on together? Your intake form was rather vague, I'm afraid. What brought you here, Patient Zero? I did something bad. Can you tell me about it? Out. Damned spot. You are quoting Shakespeare, right? The scene where Lady Macbeth sleepwalks, furiously rubbing her hands together? Yeah. She thinks she has spots of blood on them. Does she? Only figuratively. Right. Do you like to read, Patient Zero? Yeah, sometimes I guess. What other authors or books do you like? Why? I'd like to get to know you, and your answers could be relevant to our work. Oh. Okay. Joseph Conrad, Plath, I guess, Chekhov, and Edgar Allan Poe. I liked Poe's The Telltale Heart. A lot. I read it a few times this week, actually. It seems you gravitate toward literature with themes of guilt. Can you tell me more about that? I don't know how much to say about the guilt, to be honest. 
You are free to say however much or li little as you'd like. This is a safe space. I'd rather say less right now, I guess. I understand it can be daunting to dive into these issues so soon, and we will discuss them at a speed you are comfortable with. However, in order to help you with your guilt, I will need some more information. Could you tell me anything else about how you've been feeling? I feel tired. About how much sleep do you get each night? I don't really sleep. Are you unable to fall asleep or stay asleep? I have to stay awake. I feel like someone is watching me. Who do you feel is watching you, Patient Zero? I don't know. God? Ghosts? The government? Probably my brother. Okay, let's break this down a bit. Why do you think your brother is watching you? He's the guy I did something bad with. I don't know. I could be paranoid. I don't really believe in ghosts. But you think a ghost is watching you. No, it's just a feeling. You said you feel like God is watching you. Can you say more about that? There's not much to say. I'm not really religious. I guess I just overthink things. I worry too much. Sometimes I feel like even the, the coffee pot is watching me. How long have you felt like you were being watched? Since I did something bad. It seems as though your paranoia and disrupted sleep could be a result of your guilt. Can you tell me how else the guilt has affected you? Uh, I guess... I don't eat much either. Sometimes I drink. I can't look anyone in the eye anymore. That's why I thought online therapy could help. I feel like it follows me, you know? The guilt follows me like a shadow of myself. It was very brave of you to seek help, and I understand why online therapy felt like a good fit for you. I just want to know how to make it all stop. Talking through your issues with a therapist, and in some cases making amends to those you've hurt, often helps assuage guilt. There are mindfulness techniques, too, that we could work on together. Also, there are other activities and hobbies you could pursue to provide a healthy outlet for your feelings. However, I think it will be difficult for you to make any progress with this without discussing specifically what it is bothering you about what you did. Oh. Okay. We don't have to talk about that until you're ready, of course. We will go at your pace. I think I need to get it off my chest, actually. Is this, like, really confidential? Yes, except for the examples I gave before where I would be required to break confidentiality. Like, if I had committed a crime, you couldn't tell anyone? If you are planning to commit a crime, I may be obligated to share this information. But if the crime is in the past and did not involve child or elder abuse, I cannot break confidentiality. Okay, cool. Well, I guess I could tell you. I'm glad to hear that. I'm here to listen and help, Patient Zero. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, here goes. Three months ago, my brother and I were drunk, and we went out for a drive, and well, we killed someone. I've driven drunk by myself before, but nothing like this has ever happened. I understand that must be difficult to share, and it's a good step in doing so. Can you tell me more about what happened on the drive with your brother? He was driving and I was smoking a cigarette, looking out the window. We were on an empty road by a field and it was dark and seemed deserted, but we hit a lady. She came out of nowhere it seemed like. 
We were listening to the radio, and all of a sudden, there was a loud, just... crunch. We ran right over her body. I think her car had broken down. We saw an abandoned vehicle about two miles ahead. I guess she started walking. What happened after you realized the car had hit her? We got out to look. I panicked, but my brother said we had to get rid of her. I just didn't want to go to jail, so we carried her body into the field and just... drove off. I think this explains why you feel you are being watched. That's a valid concern. How has your brother behaved after the accident? Wait, seriously? I just told you I killed someone and you ask how my brother's doing? Aren't you upset? Don't you have anything else to say? You asked all these questions but don't seem to care that I killed someone. I'm not here to judge you, Patient Zero. It sounds like it was an accident. Okay, well, you sound like a computer. How do I know you are actually a therapist? I apologize if I sound robotic or unfeeling. I would just like to get all of the relevant information before I comment further. I am indeed a licensed therapist, and you may research my credentials online if you'd like. I know, I've checked. I'm sorry. I asked about your brother because you said you felt he was watching you. I also wanted to get a sense of whether he might be willing to come forward to authorities with you. I think that taking responsibility for your actions could go a long way towards your guilt. Are you kidding me? He won't turn himself in. He's got a record. But you could take responsibility for your part in the accident. No, I can't. That's the whole problem. What do you mean, the whole problem? My brother seems to think I'm going to rat to the cops. He might do something to stop me. He knows I feel guilty, it's pretty obvious. And he'd do anything to keep me from telling the truth. Do you believe that he feels guilty too? Yeah, but not as much as me, I don't think. He gets over his guilt. Or he doesn't feel enough to risk his freedom for it. I think he would kill me if he knew I told you about the accident, though. Do you believe you are in danger? Yeah. I think I need to protect myself. How would you like to protect yourself? I recommend you talk to the police. No. I'm not doing that. I don't want to go to jail. I said that already. Okay. Okay. What do you need for you to stay safe? I think... I might need to kill my brother. It would be helpful to our discussion if you could share some additional information with me. Can you tell me your first name for now, or the city you live in? No. I said no, lady. How about your brother's name? Oh, good. So you can call him and tell him what I said? Yeah, right. I knew therapy was a mistake. You're gonna get me killed. I don't believe it was a mistake, Patient Zero. I'd like to help you. Does your brother live with you? No, he lives a few miles away, but he's out of town for the weekend. Do you live with anybody? Parents? Roommates? A romantic partner? I don't have a girlfriend. Our parents are divorced and they live in different states. I'm here alone. Do you have a plan to kill your brother? Not yet. I'm just afraid of him. I don't know what to do. I don't want him to kill me first. That must be frightening. How can we keep you safe? I told you how. Violence is not an option, Patient Zero. It's off the table. It might be him or me, Dr. Took. And it sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Patient Zero is disconnected. Mm. 
Alrighty, guys. So that has been part one of Safe Haven. Now, this story, I, I, I want to say thank you to everyone that actually, like, you know, suggested it in the comment section down below because I'm actually, like, really interested in it. I really like this story. I think it's going to be really, really good. So if you guys want me to keep continuing on with this story, make sure to hit that like button down below. If we can smash two to 300 likes, I'll definitely keep this story going. And, uh, yeah, but once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another Koala video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, if this is the very first time you've ever seen one of these videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll definitely appreciate it. And if you do, make sure to turn on those notifications so that way you're alerted whenever I upload a video and you never miss out. But once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another Koala video. Make sure you guys click on that little Koala logo right there on the screen. I would definitely appreciate it. It'll subscribe you to my channel. And uh, yeah, but once again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another Koala video. This has been your boy, Duck Koala. Peace out.